I, I, I tried. I tried to. I said. Now this is an exciting table. First of all, I'm so happy to have you all here. I love all of you for different reasons, even if I've never met you. What we have on our plate right now is infused tamarind paste, right? Mm -hmm. With a, a number of different spices that make it the dipping sauce so for sambuza. Some people will say that the sambuza is the precursor to the samosa. Mm -hmm. And of course the Indians will be like, get the hell out of here because we got this, right? Right, right, right? But everybody has a meat dumpling all over right. the world. What everyone else has is what's called sambuzas. I, there's a silk road and a sexy trade route between East India, Ethiopia, Somalia, and Eritrea. And they share all these textiles and spices. So nobody can tell what came first. Everyone claims credit. And so in this situation, this is the Ethiopian version, Ethiopian curry, with our lovely Ethiopian hot uh, tamarind dipping paste, with our infusion of Akana, which I'm so very ecstatic about. Nobody wants to have this conversation, but I think it's an important conversation. We must talk about Trump. We must acknowledge this, this reality. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, the way you look right now is the way I've looked for two months. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're talking about feelings of betrayal from many different groups. We're talking about our rights, rights that we thought we always had, that we took for granted, that are now openly challenged. Yeah. What are your thoughts? Let's have a moment over our fabulous symbolisms. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a Shakespearean play. <laughs> this is Shakespearean. Okay. And we're at the right. final act. And I'm watching it from afar. <laughs> you know, I've got my popcorn. I tune in a little bit. Like, oh, that's what these motherfuckers are doing right, now. Right, right. It's hard to watch. It's really and hard then to I go right. back to my life, my community, which I think this moment mm. is calling us to Thank you. come together. Mm -hmm. So now we're seeing mm. the soul of right. America. Again. Corrode. Right. I mean, you know, I mean, listen. Lady. Black folk, we, 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 know, we know what we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. White folk are shocked. So it's now, sad that they're shocked. So now right. they're having their... Their moment is Right. Exactly. It is very exposing what's going on now. Mm -hmm. It can incite fear in people. Mm -hmm. um, it has. And it, it has. has. Mm -hmm. Very much so. People have gotten literally sick over mm -hmm. the idea of the orange one being in office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> tangerine terror. <laughs> the, ta the tangerine terror. <laughs> the tangerine terror being in office. Very much like you. I've. I've, I've tuned in and I've tuned out and I've tuned mm -hmm. in and I've tuned mm -hmm. out and I think the tuning out is really important for yes. everyone at this time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, I think that is important. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you know, just, if we're all watching this, you know, telenovela right. that mm -hmm. you know CNN Spiraling and Fox News is putting yep. on, you're gonna get sick. You're gonna you're, you're not gonna be well and you're not gonna be able to be of service to your community. Well, I call him. I call him the hairpiece. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just refusing to call him by name. We don't owe him that respect. I watch people live in these beautiful delusional bubbles right. all the time, mm -hmm. and what you're experiencing is the bubble just got burnt. Right. right. Yeah. Dick Gregory said it's the poor white people that are the real niggas. They just don't know. They it, just right? don't know. And it. if we mm -hmm. don't start having a conversation, then we're gonna be fucked right. over and over and over again. Right. right. And so having a conversation with who? No? Yeah. Or white people who don't maybe, realize they've been taken by the system. They need to have a conversation with themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is great. <laughs> I mean, I know you're you, always talking to them and but you know, yeah, guiding them know. through their process. Yeah. Listen, we I, got our own shit to deal with. Yeah, we need to deal with we need a to turn heal. of our microphones, put our healing and our medicine on ourselves. Yeah. Because that's their karma. That's their ancestors jumping up acting like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe strongly that things in life happen for more or less it just you know I think you're both right it's like you got to focus more on yourself now and what's around you your surroundings you know what I mean because essentially that's what you're really going to be able to change now right he's here for a reason he's whatever that reason may be whether it's to make the Republican Party look like a bunch of fools or idiots oh my God. you know and then to, to help shed light to the um, entire nation right, the, you know the I mean? underbelly exactly. of right. Right. I think it's time that the Republican Party starts to look like a bunch of morons we can't blame Obama for a lot of things. No. I, I'm very happy that we had Obama and we finally got, to, as a generation, we got to see that. But at the end of the day, he had so much that he had to fight against, too. Exactly. You know I mean? mm -hmm. And a lot of people within our community saw black president. Now we get to see everything that we wanted to see. No, the House was still Republican. So now I think in terms wow. of the Trump question, yes. we were talking about like reasons mm -hmm. that he's here. Right. Mm -hmm. I think that 
one of the reasons that he's here is is he's a uh, he's a manifestation of mm. a kind of decay that's in us all. That's right. Not just in his supporters, right? That's right. And I think it's like I I recently said to someone, well, if Obama was the first president who was essentially elected by the kind of boundless promise that the internet right, represents, right. Yep. then Trump is the first president that was elected by its, dis its sad That's descent. Right. That's right. That's right. Mm. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And I think, but I think we right. all participated. We did. It, right? mm -hmm. In general, like the just, you know, the whole culture of like, you know, like somehow petty is fabulous and all, all, right. all, all, all of, of this. that stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. It, it's a right. part of the ethos, and he's like the ultimate manifestation of, of like that. the ultimate vulgarian. And now we're all sitting looking at the mirror. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's one of those like nightmarish <laughs> jokes. No, okay, it's funny, but this can't be real. Okay, so we like to recognize that Washington, D.C. is very much like the mystical, magical land of Oz. Like, right. Which we is. We have right. to remember that. Right. Now we're really Talk seeing how the United Corporation of America mm -hmm. is just that. Nice. This United is States how is they corporation. How mobsters. Yeah. And we've been invited right the cabinet, baby. To kill the game. Let me tell you, those, those gangsters are sitting right up in the motherfucking cabinet. <laughs> right. And they're saying, okay, we are a corporation we're going to run this country like a corporation because it is a corporation is. and his cabinet picks reflect that oh, yes. so that's absolutely. why so you know the how everything happens for a reason now all the conspiracy theories that we've been talking yep. about in the black community They're already the latino here. community we know we listen People come. Look, we look. We don't know what this is. We had a moment of talking about how amazing this course was. Oh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. It's gone, and it was gone early on in the conversation. Girl, this tamarind. <laughs> so the tamarind, my friends, oh. has to do with how we're all connected, and that's that's kind of how I really approach food. Mm -hmm. how we are all connected. You'll find dumplings in every culture. You will mm -hmm. find certain carbs in every culture. Mm -hmm. That's how we're all connected. You had something really beautiful on your page about rhinoceri and the, the calcification of people. How we, how we normalize what is not normal? And I wanted to hear your thoughts on it because I thought it was brilliant. I was actually, you know, I was referencing an article that was written by Teju Cole, right. uh, talking about the play Rhinoceros and, right, and exactly. how basically, you know, over time, you know, there's first they're just people, and then there's one rhinoceros, and then people are kind of freaking out and, and turning into and rhinoceros. Then there are two, right, and then right. they're turning into rhinoceros. <laughs> right. um, and then at the end of the play, there's one man who's the only human left, right? mm. And everybody else is a rhinoceros, and then he has this moment of having to decide, well... What do I do? What do I do? Do I become mm. a rhinoceros or not? Mm. And he does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. And what's beautiful and <laughs> super tragic is the, all the ways that people convince themselves that it's okay to be a rhinoceros. Right. Exactly.